And welcome again, everyone. My name is Shirley Yang. I am the VP of Community for Freelance Labs. We are contributors to the Brain Trust project. Um, as you saw probably on the protocol article, Brain Trust is consisted of numerous different teams. Um, and I am one of the nodes that contribute to Brain Trust. And um, some of you joined us through Discord, Telegram, seeing us on social media. Some of us saw us through Coinless um, sales. And some of us joined us through the Talent Network. Um, this is really exciting that we are uh, a, such a dynamic community um, coming here today live. And I do want to say what it means to be community, right, is we're here to build, we're here to create, we're here to help one another for the long term. We're here to attract builders, um, and we thank you for starting your journey with us if this is uh, new to you. So with that, uh, I'd like to kick it off to Barbara. All right, everyone, uh, kind of jumping in right now. So Adam and Gabe, uh, Brain Trust co-founders, weren't able to join this morning. So I'm happy to officially welcome you uh, to our first Brain Trust Live. Uh, we've been doing these monthly updates uh, for quite a while now, but we, we really revamped uh, the way that we wanted to structure these with a new name and everything. Um, so really excited to welcome you here. Uh, what I wanted to do this morning was go over some really big highlights. We, we've had a crazy September. Uh, last time we met, uh, we had, I think, just launched um, the B-Trust token on mainnet, and a lot has happened even since then. So we launched officially on mainnet on September 1st, and then we got listed on Coinbase um, on the 15th of September, so just about a month ago. And uh, after that, um, we also did a coinless sale and we sold out uh, with over 630,000 people registered to participate. And we ended up with 22,000 participants joining the community through that sale. I so remember what I with the coinless sale, we were talking with the coinless team over Slack and it's like, oh my gosh, 200,000 signups. And then a couple... Uh, minutes later, it's like 400,000, 600,000. And like everyone was so like, it was like unbelievable um, the type of, I guess, enthusiasm and excitement around our project. There was so much. I think um, we were definitely one of the, the top sold out sales on CoinList, um, which was really exciting to see how much interest there was in Brain Trust and our mission of what we're trying to accomplish here together. And so I wanted to go over some fun five facts about what's happened in the last month and how, how far we've come as a community. Uh, the first one, uh, the community grew 1300% in just two weeks. So we launched on mainnet. Um, we got global recognition from that. And two weeks after, the community grew from 50,000 to 700,000 members. Um, and thanks uh, to all of those events, uh, 24,000 new talent joined Brain Trust, which is just an incredible accomplishment. Um, we, we had uh, some expectations for, for what September was going to bring in our launch month, and this surpassed all of our expectations. Um, we're so excited to welcome all 700,000 people to our community. And the next uh, fun fact, Brain Trust sales breaks records. So there is a really great project uh, called the uh, Web3 Index that's tracking some of the largest Web3 projects um, out there. And do you guys know what the largest uh, Web3 project has generated in lifetime revenue? Actually, Any let's panelists call. have a guess? Let's see if anyone, okay, why don't we just drop in chat what do you think is the largest revenue? Historic, right? Like in perpetuity. So yeah, far. lifetime revenue of a Web3 project. Is it 10,000? Is it 10 million? 100,000? 4 billion? Wow. I wish it was 4 billion. Barbara, I haven't seen the right answer yet. Not even close. <laughs> So the largest um, 
lifetime revenue project, um, thank you for sharing that index, um, is 3.8 million um, from Filecoin. And does anyone have any guesses uh, for where Brain Trust uh, has in terms of sales? Actually, is it okay we give one B trust to the person who guesses it right? Let's do it. Okay. Surprise. So the Your first chance person. to earn B trust. Okay. So GSV or um, however the revenue reported that we said so far. GSV. Um, GSV. We're getting close. I like Ryan. Ryan's always um, overachiever here. <laughs> so I see two answers right now that are not it, but close. What is Any it? Any final that? guesses? So close, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, a lot are coming in. All right, Annalie, will you look and take note and ping the people who, I think there were two people who got really close. Let's see. So the answer, we're gonna cut, cut off right now. Um, the answer is 22 million in GSV. So just to repeat that, uh, according to the Web3 Index, the, the largest project there, uh, Filecoin, uh, its lifetime revenue is 3.8 million. Uh, but Brain Trust, in just 18 months, we are at 22 million. That's huge. And again, I'm dropping that Web3 Index um, source for everyone to be able to see. And a little, a little bit about the Web3 Index. Um, we're hoping Brain Trust gets listed on it soon. Um, right now, they are just focused on Layer 2 projects, um, and we are Layer 3. So we're hoping in Q1 of next year, they'll be expanding that and really put things into perspective on the landscape of Web3. All right, moving on to our third fun fact. Um, 100 of the Fortune 1000 companies are hiring on Brain Trust. Brain Trust is so proud to work with incredible companies like Nestle, WeWork, Honda, Solana, NASA, Twitter, Porsche, and so many more. Uh, Grady will be covering some of these great uh, opportunities with all of these wonderful companies um, in a bit later on today's event. Our fourth fact, uh, this movement is global. We have contributors from 140 plus countries that are building brain trust. That is so incredible. Love seeing everyone joining today from all of the different countries around the world. And then the last fact of the day, press love brain trust. In the last month, we have seen over 20 different outlets discussing, chatting, featuring brain trust, including Protocol, Forbes, the LA Times, Recode, um, as well as a number of different podcasts, which I'll be talking about in a bit. Um, and you know what? That's actually a great leeway because I am supposed to present next. <laughs> so uh, hot off the presses. <laughs> um, like I said, we have seen some amazing coverage uh, so far just in the last month. Um, highlighted a couple of my favorites here. If you haven't read this protocol article, I highly Highly recommend it. Uh, we have some brain trust backers speaking there. We've got uh, quotes from Adam as well as quotes from one of our talent, uh, Zoe Rem. Um, so please check this one out. And then the Hustle article is also another one of my favorites, calling us a futuristic gig uh, work platform. Um, there are some really great sound bites in there as well. So wanted, if you're interested, oh yeah, go on, Charlie. Yeah, I wanted to really call out that protocol. Um, article. Annalie, would you mind dropping the protocol article URL in the chat? Um, the talent in here, right? Uh, I saw a, around 50% of people joining live today are talent. If you guys look up Zoe Rem um, in the talent dashboard, everyone can look up everyone's profile. I remember first meeting her when she joined. Um, we did an interview training session and she was actually getting ready to um, interview with uh, Stanley Black and Decker. She got the job. And after that, she also got Pacific Life, right? So these are, I don't know, is it Fortune, not just Fortune 500, but like Fortune probably 200 companies 
um, that she was able to land through Brain Trust. And she really went through the experience of applying to Brain Trust, getting approved, joining the community, meeting community members, uh, going through hiring, not just one job, but you know, multiple jobs, and getting quotes from her and her sharing her experience in the protocol article, I thought was very interesting. So highly recommend people checking that out. Yeah, and if anyone's interested about hearing more about Zoe's incredible story, she started as a bar back. Um, we, we did publish a full article on her on the blog as well. Incredible story. We also, uh, you know, have some great podcasts to add to your playlist. Um, the Defiant acquired Just Raise Crypto 101. Um, Adam spoke on all of these and they're really interesting. Each uh, podcast has a very different perspective uh, looking at the brain trust business. Some are very focused on the web three side and the crypto side and others are more focused on just the future of work. Um, so if you wanna grab yourself a coffee or a glass of wine and cozy up, uh, please go ahead and listen to those. And uh, I don't know how many of you were in our network update last month, but if you were there, you may recall me asking you to please follow us on Twitter because we are almost at 10,000 followers. Well, now just one month later, we are at 145,000 followers. And that is just a thank you to our massive community and the massive group of people who are interested in what Brain Trust is building and contributing to that growth. Uh, so just really excited to see the growth here. Um, we are constantly posting on Twitter um, and featuring a lot of our community members who are talking about Brain Trust as well. So please tag us, tell us why you love Brain Trust. Um, and we actually are gonna make this really easy for you. Um, we'll drop a link here, uh, just click to tweet um, and tell us why uh, you are so excited about the Brain Trust mission. There's a link that we just dropped in the chat. Uh, you can click it and easily share about Brain Trust. And then finally, we have a lot of content uh, that we've produced in the last month. We've got Web3 resources on the blog, um, a really great uh, AMA that we did with some big names in crypto. Uh, we recapped that conversation from Twitter um, and we have a bunch of other kind of deep dives into specific sections of our white paper. So if you haven't read our white paper and are looking for a little bit of an easier read, um, you can check out a bunch of different blogs um, right now on why fees matter, why incentives matter, why governance matters. We also have a bunch of talent stories, including Zoe Rem, which I mentioned, as well as Sergio and Garth and James. Uh, so go ahead and check out some of the incredible talent that are on our network and making an incredible living um, by freelancing. And then finally, we have talent stories and talent resources. Um, so some of these are contributed by our talent. If you're interested in contributing to the blog, definitely reach out um, to me or Kat on Discord. And we'd love to figure out how we can work with you and get your contributions live on the Brain Trust blog. And then we also are constantly posting about different news moments, whether it's the Coinless sale or the Coinbase sale or talking about our B-Trust celebration contest. So if you're always looking for the latest news, check out our blog. And so with that, you guys are probably sick of hearing from me. I got to go twice in a row. Um, so I am going to pass it over to Shirley. Thank you, Barbara. Fantastic updates. I do want to um, let people know if you have any questions, there's a QA and a uh, feature in the Zoom webinar. Feel free to drop your questions in the Q&A. This way we can answer live later on. Okay, um, next half of us, well, all of us, but half of us directly related to you, client and jobs. Uh, Grady, please take us away. Yeah, you bet. Hey, everyone. Uh, Grady here. So I get the pleasure of working with lots of our clients. Uh, and what does that mean uh, for, for those of you that might be new? Uh, well, really what it is, it's, it's onboarding new folks who are interested in brain trust, posting jobs, our talent, just curious what the heck's going on. So our team is out there educating them, getting them onboarded onto the platform, helping them post jobs, helping them actually walk through the interview process and, and matching with folks. So we spend a lot of time kind of hand holding and walking them through the process, making the experience really well for really good for them, but then also for you all as well, especially on the talent side, trying to make sure that we kind of play matchmaker and facilitate some of those conversations as needed. Go to the next slide. 
Um, so what I like to do kind of each of these months is do a, a look back. We kind of set some goals per month on what we want to achieve the next month uh, on the client side of the equation, uh, which directly relates to all you. And when we were in September, our big goal for October was all about more hires. Hey, we want more volume, more hires, more people getting onto projects, which is really the whole point of this thing. Um, and, and mission accomplished. So we're up about 50%. It's actually just slightly higher as far as number of hires, just pure volume of great people getting hired onto projects versus September. So huge growth month over month. And then we're looking to continue that into November, December, January, of course. Um, some other things that I thought were kind of interesting as we looked at kind of October and then looked at kind of three, three months back. So kind of quarterly view, see what's happening in the ecosystem. And kind of the things that I noticed were we've always been really heavily weighted towards engineering, so both web and mobile developers. Um, and, and it's starting to shift a little bit. It's still definitely heavy weighted towards devs. Um, but when we look at like July versus October, we saw a shift from 60%, so almost two thirds developers down to about 50%. And the reason for that is not because we're getting less jobs or less engineering roles, we're actually getting up like more and more jobs every month across the board. Uh, but what we're seeing is more categories coming in. So the big one that I noticed as far as a jump was on the design side of the house. So if you know any great designers, people interested in, in looking for new gigs, um, we've got a lot of design roles coming up right now, nearly 30% of every role getting posted throughout October. And I see this continuing into November, all around product design, UX, UI, UX research, um, you name it. The other thing that we also like to look at is kind of enterprise versus SMB. I know we always highlight like our big enterprise logos. They're attractive. Um, the strategy around that is, is pretty clear. Like they've got a lot of volume. They need a lot of help and they attract other big logos to the network, right? So we always publicize them. You see them all over our Twitter feeds and our blog posts. But what's really interesting is like, if you look at everyone who's hiring right now, it's actually a huge mix of really small companies. So fast growing startups who are looking for great technical talent. And it's actually skewed more if you look at just raw hires towards the small and medium business. So it's really great for anyone looking for, you know, more of a startup world or a smaller company world versus big logo. Uh, but we have a really nice, healthy mix of both. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Um, and while we do advertise the enterprises, like there's a lot of really cool kind of faster and startup stuff. Um, one other thing I wanted to just point out to everyone is, you know, in the discord channels, people are always asking like, how do we get clients? What's the process? Um, and it's kind of pretty simple. Um, you know, what we're building here is a community owned network meaning we don't want a large core team or core teams. Um, so we don't want a lot of salespeople uh, by design, right? That's why we have referrals. So how we traditionally and kind of historically and probably into the future as well, we'll get most of our large enterprises straight referrals. Um, so people introducing contacts in their network, whether it be senior executives all the way down towards hiring managers all over the board, most of those are coming in through you, know, you all. Um, and then on the small medium side, that's a lot of the inbound stuff. So we get a lot of inbound traffic. Almost all of it is kind of smaller companies looking to make a few hires. Of course, we're happy to help get them all set up and then start matching through the platform. The one thing I do hear a lot of is, hey, you guys don't have enough internationals. Yes, um, most of the team that's primarily working and talking to clients um, are US based, right? But because of the first two bullets there, um, like you guys can change a lot of that in where we're getting jobs, who's hiring, what companies we're working with, if we start getting more referrals for international clients. So I would say like, we want to work more international. I am pushing everybody towards international jobs when we're talking to clients and just being open to remote hiring all over the place. Um, but the biggest impact to that, as far as, you know, us getting new jobs onto the platform for international, you know, talent members is referrals. So if you've got people in your network, you've worked with before turn them over to us, we'll get them set up and get rolling. And then kind of last point here um, is all around, you know, everybody wants this to be easy, right? Like people trying to get hired, you're tired of clients like dragging you through a long inter interview process, making it difficult. That's what our team's here for, to try and help streamline a lot of that stuff. And then flip side of that, you know, the client side, they're always asking for, you know, make sure we're applying for the right jobs that fit our, you know, you know skill set and that type of stuff, make it easy on them. So, Ask on both sides, apply for jobs that are great for you. If not, make a great proposal that says why you're good for that job. 
And then on the client side, just know we are trying really, really hard to make sure that we streamline those processes to get them hiring quickly and make it easy on anyone who's trying to get hired. So that's kind of where we're at. Flip one more and then I'll be done. Before you um, go on, Grady, yeah. can we go back real quick? So yeah. I want to underscore, so two things. So because we have international peoples in, in the house, SMB yeah. means small to medium sized companies. Right, so that's the that's the other half. So we go after enterprises, the big logos, the Fortune One Thousands. Also, they're smaller companies, small to mid-sized companies in the U.S. We, I think, mid-sized is something like under two hundred million revenue. I can't, don't yeah. quote me on that, but it's something like that. And just so you know, those are the two types of clients that we go after, but primarily enterprises. The second very important thing I want to underscore is it's brain brain trust is a different it's a network of builders, yeah. right? So we each have accountability and ownership over the clients we bring in, right? When we say we, literally you are a part of that we. So it's not just up to Grady's team to bring in, you know, all the clients. That's what we're trying we to do. We're trying to actually do as little as possible. We <laughs> love the, yeah. No, I mean, you guys, <laughs> Brady's team has been doing such heavy lifting. That's how we're able to get 22 million in GSV and, you know, blow off the charts of Web3 um, projects. But at the same time, this network needs to be scaled through community. And that's why you're here. If you don't see international jobs, you happen to be um, somewhere that's global, please try, help us. Let's start a conversation. What are the challenges to introduce clients? Let us know. We can send you sales scripts. We can send you decks. Like, even if you just introduce someone to um, Grady's team, we can bridge that connection. We need you as builders to help us bring in clients, right? Us meaning collective us, the entire Brain Trust Network. Yeah. Um, we cannot just only rely on the core team, right? Because we're a community built network. Um, oh. And of course, there's incentives there. You get uh, 2% uh, in client transactions and billings in the form of Trust whenever your client starts um, hiring people. So I just want to make sure that under everyone understands that mindset. We're all owners. <laughs> uh, all right, perfect. And then last thing for me. So uh, this is pretty wild. The slide in general, you're like, oh, that's a great logo slide for all of brain trust. No, this is October new clients only, which is more ridiculous. So, um, you know, like I said before, we've got a lot of small, medium businesses, but we bought a lot of really big logos in here too. So I, I wanted to showcase to you guys um, those that made their first hires ever through Brain Trust in October, first line there, some amazing logos and names on there that have a lot more coming. Uh, we've got our first jobs posted with the middle row. So haven't hired quite yet, we'll be hiring very soon. And then we've got a near-term pipeline. So I don't know if you guys recognize any logos on here, but there's a few small ones. Um, so take a look at this, just know that third line is likely coming in Q4 and we're going to have a lot more coming across the board in addition to the, you know, hundred plus we've already got on the fortune 1000. So we'll keep them coming for your all, for you all. We'll keep getting jobs. We'll keep getting cool stuff to work on. Um, but yeah, we could use your help with a lot of the international stuff and just bring in more, more job opportunities to the network. So thank you all. Shirley, back over to you. Thank you, Grady. And I do want to say, um, some like, a great percentage of these big logos are coming through um, the network and connectors. Um, there's someone, Pierre, you guys probably see because he was doing so great at bringing on board like Wayfair and Corsair. I don't remember all the big logos he brought in, but it's like, hey, why don't you join the Brain Chess core team because he's doing so well. So that could be you. So impressive. Um... So we're introducing something new uh, to our Brain Trust Live agenda, and that is an opportunity to win swag by participating in a fun trivia question. This may not be the last one you see uh, in this session. So um, today, what we're going to do is ask everyone a question. I'm going to show the question and read it out loud um, on the next slide. When I switch it, I'll tell you what I'm going to. And the first person to answer the question correctly is going to win a signature edition Brain Trust t-shirt. 
Uh, so we just produced our first round of Brain Trust swag, and I'm going to try, this isn't um, as easy uh, to show on Zoom, but uh, we have this really awesome design. It's like a black on black tone that says own it, which is our, our tagline um, all the way down. And then the sleeve has our logo as well with like an established date. Um, so we uh, will ping you directly, uh, whoever answers uh, correctly first and get your size and your address and we will be mailing you a signature edition t-shirt. So who's excited to win swag? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, I'm going to switch the slide in a moment and read you the question. Okay, let's do it. What percentage of B trust is allocated towards community incentives and rewards? So give everyone a few minutes. Oh, I saw a winner. We have a winner? I think so. Okay, let me look. They're all coming in so quickly. Uh, Brian, FYI, I saw you put 10%. Yeah, that's the other question we ask. What percentage <laughs> do we take um, from client? That would be 10%. But in this case, it's not 10%. Remember, we're a community owned network. We do have a winner. Three counts. Hopefully, I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, so, the answer is 54%. So, 54% of our total token supply is reserved for community rewards. And these rewards are programmatically granted uh, by our referral engine, uh, or they're also distributed through com community perks and bounties. We just gave away one B Trust, for example, earlier on this call. Um, and then the rest are reserved for early token purchasers, early contributors, um, and through the coinless sale. So you can get all of the details of the B Trust token um, by visiting the usebraintrust.com website and clicking on uh, B Trust. And we have our white paper on there. We have our token address and our tokenomics one sheet, which includes those percentages um, broken down. So uh, congratulations. Uh, you will be getting a Brain Trust t-shirt uh, and Annalie will be reaching out to you. All right. Srikanth, I'm so glad you won. Very well deserved. For Congrats. those who don't already know, Srikanth has been um, our Web3 guru. He's been in our Discord um, crypto channels, like educating us on blockchain and all things um, crypto. So very glad that uh, you're the winner today. Congrats and uh, stay tuned. There may be another giveaway in a bit. So with that, I'm going to pass it to Shirley. Hint, hint. There may be another one very soon. <laughs> <laughs> so community, my favorite section. Let's uh, hit next. Really, I wanted to use this time to thank you um, to everyone who joined today, as well as just highlight those who I'm seeing. Um, we're even though we grew from okay, fifty thousand people to seven hundred thousand plus. Someone asked who's in those seven hundred thousand about. I want to say, uh, Barbara, you say 30K or 30% or talent. Um, and then the remainder are builders, contributors, um, you know, writers, fans of the community, people interested in uh, Web3 projects, our Telegram, as well as followers, um, not just on the Brain Trust Twitter, but also our co founders, um, Adam and Gabe's Twitter. Uh, handles, people wanting to know what's going on, as well as our newsletter subscribers. So that's who we consider as in our community. Okay. And so looking on Twitter, like the great things that people are saying, so Brain Chess in this Web3 world, we have Jesse Walton, right? He's a, I want to say he's an investor, right? He um, came from, he's ex Andreessen Horowitz. Um, AZ16 um, is something that maybe some of you have heard of. Uh, he started his own fund, uh, Variant Fund, um, to talk about what is uh, Web3, right? And we did an AMA with him and him talking about brain trust as an example. Someone like Lou Kerner, he hosts his own, um, I think, community in crypto is saying that 
Brain Trust is his go-to example of a truly decentralized token-based community that scales rapidly. Um, having a real use case um, is something that people are talking about too. Um, Brain Trust is unique in a sense that, hey, we're the network is not just creating something to further blockchain or its technology on its own. There's a real life business use case here that's impacting the lives of people in the world, freelancers in this case, right? So we're not just further developing crypto technology. We are here to spread economic opportunity more equitably around the world. That's a big difference um, between brain trust and other networks. Next slide, please. And so um, the other fun part, so we have serious people talking about Web3, the uh, you know, knowledge-based conversations. And then we have the more lighter side, you know, our supporters of the network, creating memes, creating fun GIFs, and I see you. So I want to acknowledge you. Thank you for creating this awesome content. Um, These I are great. <laughs> I just saw the first episode of Squid Game, so I love the one in the corner. <laughs> I am scared to watch it, but I take your word for it. Um, <laughs> but this is awesome. And this is, um, I don't know, it's more in American culture. I'm not sure if international people uh, get this one, but it's like Drake, you know, a popular singer. I think this is a meme off of Drake. Um, but just really thank you everyone um, for creating really fun. This is like just a few that we picked really quickly from our Discord, but thanks so much for making this um, levity for us. And also publications. So we have actually um, various community run Telegram groups um, and localized languages on Telegram. So I wanna give a special shout out to Sang. Um, I, I saw your name earlier. Um, thank you, you are our uh, Vietnamese Telegram uh, admin. Uh, pushing the brain trust protocol piece, actually publishing on Saigon Tradecoin, a uh, reputable uh, Vietnamese uh, publisher there. Um, really appreciate all your support and your um, community that showed up today. So wanted to give a special shout out, as well as uh, Doris Hernandez. She's a longtime talent member and product manager. She uh, actually wrote a personal blog post in Spanish and published us too. Uh, et cetera, news to our Latin American community um, to really open up Talent Top of Funnel for us there. And of course, our Chinese community and our um, investors, Hashkey, publishing our launch news on chainnews.com for uh, through China. Um, and finally, our Russian group, Serhi, uh, thank you for um, you know, always supporting us and translating brain trust messaging into Russian. Um, also that protocol piece I saw you sharing in the Russian Telegram group. So thank you so much. I will be dropping um, each of your links in the chat. So if you speak different languages um, and English is not your native language, please feel free to join these um, community run groups. And finally, um, I want to call to the you know, everyone know, has probably heard we launched a 20 KB trust launch celebration contest. Um, and this contest really is to thank and celebrate everyone, right? Um, originally, it's we only wanted to have 537 winners, but going staying true to our ethos, spreading economic opportunity around the world, um, and getting more winners is always better than fewer winners. And similarly to what we're doing with CoinList. Um, each of the allocations are small, right? Because we want to give more people opportunities to earn. We actually surprised and picked a thousand additional winners in addition to the first 537 people that um, won. So with this, there were more than 360,000 entrants to our contest, which is crazy amazing. Um, and our Discord and Telegram and Twitter grew um, so much because of this. And we wanna say thank you for participating. And this was a really successful contest and we will be doing more in the future. Community events, talents, this is for you. Uh, we have lots of events to help. Next screen, please. Um, 
with your profile, with your proposal, with your interview training. Um, so far, community events have a, a accumulated score of 4.8 stars out of five. Here are some testimonials just to let you know um, people are really getting value out of these sessions. Anna Lee, Crystal, some of our other community leaders, Arvitz, are in these events um, really helping you put your best foot forward when you create your proposal profiles and when you sit in front of clients. So make sure you join. Um, there's a Luma link, Annalie, if you could please drop in so people can RSVP. And finally, uh, community structure. We are, again, a builder's network, currently um, looking, doing a lot of research and chatting with other uh, DAOs, uh, decentralized autonomous organizations, to see how their structures are set up, how people contribute and can level up and earn incentives accordingly. Um, we are going to be reaching out to you, getting some feedback and uh, sharing our research on how to better build our structure going into 2022. So that is still to come. Thank you. Next, over to Mark. All right. Thanks a lot, Shirley. A uh, quick update on infrastructure. We'll talk mostly about governance today. Uh, we had a, we've already mentioned Zoe's name in, in this before. She's been with us a long time. Uh, she had a great quote picked up in uh, the media talking about governance that uh, it's just great that we have a say in the network. And I wanted to highlight this because We've, we've talked a lot about the token and the launch in early September, and that, that means a lot of things, but one of the most important things it meant was we are now fully decentralized, meaning there is no central organization that is controlling the trust network. It is all of the community and the people who own that BTrust token. So as you look at this, this call, just the panelists, there are at least three different companies involved who are, are part of building the Brain Trust Network, and then all of the community members who have earned it by referring talent or clients, uh, and other people who have invested now that it, the token has launched. So this is uh, really an historic project. Some of you people uh, may get sick of hearing me say this over time, but for the 20 years before joining Brain Trust, I was 100% billable at client sites. And it's a, it's a good gig. I liked it, but there were two big problems with that business model. Brain Trust has solved both of those. One of those is giving you a direct vote in what the network does, no matter how nice you are, if you think you're in the inner circle or not. At big companies, uh, sometimes you just don't have control over what they do and the decisions they make. And then our beautiful 10% fee that we do not charge talent, only charge the clients. So those two things have made Brain Trust just really an important project to me personally. And I think we're seeing that now with governance. So uh, onto the next slide, we'll look at a couple of, uh, of the proposals that are live now, and then talk a little bit about governance as there are two different types of, of votes. It's a little confusing. Uh, if we want to make a change to the B Trust smart contract, that's called an on-chain vote, and we do that on our platform. So that's uh, when you go to app.usebraintrust.com slash vote, that will uh, be where we have on-chain votes. And there's just not, we're not expecting there to be that many of them because as a, a layer three protocol, we don't have a, a, an extremely complex smart contract. So many of our votes are going to be off chain and we do those on snapshot.org like many other uh, projects. So if you just go to snapshot.org, you can always see what is live and uh, what is coming up for vote. We of course always make sure that we announce these in discord and when the community uh, announces something we, or, or posts something, we make sure that that's in, in discord as well, just to make sure everyone knows what's going on. So. Uh, you can participate in governance uh, with any amount of tokens if you have uh, purchased them on an exchange. If you are withdrawing tokens from the platform, you can participate with as few as 10 tokens. So it, it doesn't take a lot. Uh, and we have a lot of information in the help center to get you up and running on uh, some security best practices and, and how these votes work. 
with some rules on uh, thresholds and, and timing for when, when they go live, just to give everyone in the community an opportunity to participate. So I've seen uh, a couple of questions on, on staking. This is a big part of uh, one of the biggest uses other than voting that we're, we're planning for uh, this quarter and then into 2022. And there's a really exciting, we've already made that the network has voted and we will be doing some type of token staking. And now there's a proposal that's live to inform the community which way we want to go, if that's going to be proposal staking, job staking, or referral staking. And so if you go to Snapshot, you can see all of the uh, proposals that are live and you can connect your wallet and, and vote out there. So please participate. And if you have any ideas that you would like to see, it's up to you to propose those and then have the community vote. All right, I uh, forget who I'm handing off to now, but uh, that's it for infrastructure. I believe you're handing it off to me, Mark. So, All right, um, oh, next yeah, thank gonna, you. We're gonna, talk, <laughs> we're gonna talk about product um, and we're gonna start with just a few things that went live in October. Um, so the first thing is, next slide, is a job specific referral. So we talked a little bit about how you can refer clients, um, but you can also refer talent. Um, and for a long time, what we've heard is that people want to refer talent to specific jobs and be able to share specific details about those jobs before the talent signs up. Um, so now when you brain trust and refer, click refer and earn on that job, um, the sign up link uh, to the talent that you'll be sending it to will actually have some details about the job, including who the company that is hiring, what the role is, um, what the rate and the location of the job is. So, so check it out. Um, and if you want to share the job now, uh, the people that you share it with can actually see some of the job details before they make a choice about signing up. Um, the other big thing that we launched last month um, so this is really a team effort across many different uh, organizations that contribute to Brain Trust is a new talent home experience. Um, so some things to highlight about this experience is that it is personalized um, and it is dynamic. Um, so depending on who you are and the questions that you've answered about what you were looking for, you will now find recommendations for specific jobs that uh, match your needs. And then you'll find additional content um, about referral, about companies that are hiring, about all the great events and programming that community is putting on. Um, and then content that makes it easier for you to, to find and get a job. Um, so some of the blog content that the marketing team is putting together, um, content like this, um, Brain Trust Live videos are now available and accessible on your homepage. Um, and this, this is just a first version. Um, this is gonna be evolving so that all of the things that you need are at your finger, fingertips. Um, so if you have suggestions or ideas for modules that you would like to see on this, uh, on this homepage, um, let us know, um, and in the future, you can also help us build them. Um, and now I wanna shift gears to talk a little bit more about what's coming. Um, so the first thing that is coming, um, this is moving to testing soon and we'll go live, is the ability for clients to designate location and working hours preferences. We know that we want all of our jobs to be available to everyone across the world. Um, that is not always the case. Um, and so we're now making it a little bit, letting clients indicate when they have a preference for where talent is and when that talent should work. But we're also educating them that when they add these preferences and requirements, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder for them to find, um, find great talent and they might be missing out on great talent. Um, so it's not only finding clients that are looking to hire internationally, it's educating clients that there is great talent available everywhere. Um, and then we're also going to be making it easier if you click again here. Um, what is happening? All right, there we go. Um, to show you on these jobs exactly what the location requirements are um, and what the time zone requirements are. Um, so this is the first version, but um, you know we needed this information in a structured way for you to be able to find it. And then the next step will be to allow you to filter on it so you can uh, only look at jobs that are relevant for you. Um, and that transitions us into the next thing that's coming. Um, so I know lots of people on this call are product managers. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Um, roles and skills match. Um, so you notice probably in September that we updated our roles taxonomy and skills taxonomy. This is just a first version. 
Um, so we're looking to uh, elaborate and continue to build on this taxonomy, but we are now going to be adding this same exact role and skills taxonomy to jobs on our platform as well, um, including the ability to designate what the top three skills are for a job. Um, and then once this is live, we'll be able to do a much better job matching um, your skills and your superpowers with the jobs and what the jobs need. Um, so this is in the works right now and should be coming out in the next few weeks. Um, which then transitions us to job discovery. Um, so the number one goal, we have a project going on right now that is called job discovery. And the number one goal of this project is to make it easier for talent to find and get jobs that are relevant for them. Um, so we've been going through a, a proper product discovery process and we're going wide and we're ideating. Um, and we've put together some different concepts based on um, feedback and input from the community. Um, and then we tested these concepts with several of you last week um, to kind of understand how would you actually use these? What's working on these concepts? What's not? Um, and what we're going to be doing in the next few weeks is narrowing our direction um, and starting to build a whole new job discovery process um, where it's easier for you to get the information that's most important to you when evaluating jobs um, and easier for you to find and actually get the jobs that you want. Um, so we had three different concepts that we shared with talent. This was the first one. Um, it was a carousel card concept um, where you have these cards that you could click through to see additional information about the job, um, including the skills that were required. Um, the next concept that we shared was uh, a social concept. Um, so this was, you know, more like a social feed where uh, clients, hiring managers, salespeople would be sharing jobs and people would have the ability to comment and interact um, on jobs so that the questions that you're asking, that information is captured and we don't have to answer the same questions over and over again. Um, and then the third concept uh, was what we were calling a more graphic concept, um, which really leaned into what is the company that is hiring? What is the value of the project? Um, and gave the users the ability to expand and collapse cards um, so that you could see a little bit more detail and more easily can, uh, compare at a glance. Um, we learned a lot from you about each of these concepts. Like, so, that, so what we're actually going to ultimately end up doing is doing an amalgamation of some of the features and functionality um, that you liked in the different versions and putting together a fourth whole new concept. Um, but it will be more leading in this graphic direction that's kind of really easy to, to see and parse visually. Um, so uh, next time, this is just one piece of the larger job discovery project. Uh, you know, the other pieces of this will be the, an updated job details view and an updated search and filter experience. Um, and those are all things that'll be coming uh, next quarter. So with that, who am I handing it off to? I'm jumping in again. Um, I love this concept. I'm glad this is the one uh, the community liked the most as well. Looks so great. All right, so I promise you more brain trust trivia, more opportunities to win swag, and this is going to be your next opportunity. So this time I'm going to be asking another question related to governance. Um, and what we're going to be giving away is a brain trust pen and laptop stickers. So here is kind of our logo on this one. I don't know if you guys see that. And then a personal favorite, this really fun own it lock up with our logo in the O. All right, so same rules apply. The first person to drop their answer, the correct answer in chat uh, will win and we'll follow up with you to get your address so we can send you the swag. So I'm going to switch the slide and the question will be on it and I will read it out loud as well. All right, let's do it. There are four phases to governance. What is phase one? Lots of people jumping in here. I thought this was a hard question. Apparently it wasn't. <laughs> Everyone has done their homework. 
Yes. Okay. So ideate is the correct answer. Uh, we invite everyone to discuss ideas on Discord. And then once there is a consensus on a change, uh, it's your turn to write the proposal and move it on to phase two, which is voting off chain. So I think, let's see, who was the first person? I saw a big smile on Mark's face. <laughs> Mark, yeah. I thought you'd like this question. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, as, as Grady says, no one listens to the words that come out of my mouth, but it's not true. Thank you so much. <laughs> like I, this really is, uh, it, it would have stumped me, I think. So we, I we also, was I was like, no one's going to get this. We also <laughs> would have accepted whatever we vote on it to, to be, but yes, ID8 is correct. <laughs> Please also Amazing. pass on this to Megan. Uh, she needs to know. Exactly. And I think uh, we have the same winner, Shrikanth. Um, <laughs> so you're going to be getting one large uh, swag pack from Brain Trust. Makes, makes it easier, I guess, for shipping. Um, you are on top of these trivia questions. I think we have a huge contender here um, to make sure everyone studies up for next Brain Trust Live. All right, and with that, uh, going to pass it on to Annalie. Hi, everyone. Good morning or evening, depending on where you're from. Next slide, please. So I'll be closing the session on how we can participate. We've heard from Grady, Shirley, Mark, Shrina, Barbara on um, all the updates happening in the Brain Trust Network. But the Brain Trust Network isn't something you merely join. It's something that we are all helping to build together. And so, Take notes on actionable ways that you can get involved. Um, Grady talked about growing the client base through the connector program. And we heard that enterprise clients primarily come through connectors, introductions, and referrals. It's one of the biggest ways that we can grow opportunities for the network. And so if you don't know where to start, or maybe you haven't made introductions before, reach out to Anna and Julia on the connector channel in Discord, and we can help get you started there. You can also refer talent to Brain Trust. As we heard from Shrina, the new job specific referral program is now live. Um, but I will say just in general, right? Like in my experience, some of the coolest opportunities or experiences that I've ever learned about, um, be it events, be it job opportunities have been through word of mouth. And so by sharing your experience, what you're learning here today, what you're learning along the way from not only the core teams, but each other, Word of mouth is the best way to not only potentially earn B trust, but get your friends, jobs, and opportunities and help grow the network as well. And by referring clients and talent, again, um, a perk is earning B trust. Another way, um, if you're feeling inspired after hearing all these updates, is to join the Discord and Telegram. And that's such an easy action. Once you're part of these channels, you can then find the channels, the conversations, the discussions that are most relevant to you and your interests and participate there. Um, as we heard from Mark, there are governance discussions happening every day. And from those discussions, we can actually vote on, the, on what changes we see in the network. And so, it sounds small by just like sharing your ideas, but ideas become discussions, idea sharing becomes discussions and then potentially voting. And that's how we help grow the network. There are also opportunities to show your creativity. You can participate in current Discord bounties. There's a specific section where um, right now we have the animated server bounty, which is now live through November 15th. And not only is this your chance to earn B trust you can then see your custom design every day when you join the Discord server. And that's pretty cool um, to see what you've contributed as part of the network itself. Um, and once you've joined the Discord, joined the Telegram, connect to people connect, and connected with talent um, and learn more about Brain Trust itself, we urge you all to participate and help grow the network by not only word of mouth, but by creating educational resources, writing articles, and just furthering um, your sharing your experience and what you know about brain trust so other people can learn and be knowledgeable as well. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, find me on Discord, connect with each other on Discord. And if you don't see the opportunity that exists yet on how you'd like to participate, you can definitely reach out, share your ideas, and um, we'll connect with you further on how to make it happen. 
Thank you, Annalie. And I do want to emphasize, you know, I was typing in chat with someone about, hey, how can you guys really help, right? How can the community help? Franchise is relatively new still. The best thing you can help support the network is spread the message. Educate people on Twitter, on YouTube, on Telegram. There are all kinds of people uh, on the internet, right? Set them straight. What is Brain Trust doing? How are we growing? All you have to do, help retweet us, right? Share the press articles. Share this video when this recording comes out. Help us spread the message. Translate into your community localized languages. Um, that's how you can help educate um, other people. And let's get more buy-in, get everyone else to come build um, for the long term with us. That's how you can help. And we are at time. I know we got some questions. Um, we will continue this conversation and answer your questions on Discord um, and make sure to look out for a wrap up email and recording. And we thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you had a nice time. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining everyone.